Hi everybody, it's Jessica, the Dollhouse Curator, and welcome back to the Curated Dollhouse. Today we are here for our first of what I have affectionately decided to name these, this video series. Welcome to our Curated Scenes for Halloween. Y'all know I have been talking for the last few weeks on whether I was going to do three scenes or whether I was going to try to do seven. And I couldn't make a decision, y'all. I was on holiday, and please excuse me, I've also gotten sick, so um, I'm not feeling 100% well today. But I've been on holiday, and I've been able to get so much little stuff done. So I couldn't make a decision, y'all, on how many scenes it was going to be, so I decided to just let the flow flow. So this will be the first video on um, our curated scenes for Halloween, and so far, we should have about four. Yeah. I'm still debating on some other ones, y'all, but I'm not feeling well. Um, I've got about, oh, week and a half or so left on my holiday. And yeah, so y'all can see, like I'm struggling right now trying to get these videos done, but I got to get it done because we got to stay on schedule. Anyway, y'all, so this was a fun one to do. I really wanted to focus for this first scene on my littles. I wanted to do a cute little area for them. I had pulled out my spooky and fall decor for Halloween and I thought it was adorable to use over here. So y'all know I always gotta have extra stuff. So y'all see we have lights kind of in different areas to give it a little ambiance. I have wrapped fairy lights around the trees that also have like creepy spider webs on it. And y'all, I would turn my spider on, but y'all know he just blink, 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 and I don't know how to turn him off, so I'm not gonna turn him on. But I do have one other thing to show y'all before I turn on all the lights and then kind of really give you a detailed tour of this scene for Halloween, curated scene for Halloween. So y'all, I also did my colored lights in here and I wanted to set them up to go with the scene. So I put them on a color change effect and I think it just really sets the scene off. So when I have my lights on y'all and y'all, I still have my light colored lights separated so I can get one color over here, one color on the other side. It looks so good for Halloween. So um, let me turn my colored lights off. I'm gonna turn on the dollhouse lights. We're going to resituate so I can walk you through the little scene for what it is. And I'm gonna turn or uh, open my window and get my ring light on. Oh my goodness, it is so many different things we gotta do for these, ain't it? All right, there we go. Okay, so let me bring you closer. All right, first to start, y'all, I am using my Joey doll. So y'all know we have completed his makeover. And my Joey doll is dressed up as a wizard. I made a cute little staff to go with that. And I use purple and my favorite color of green. And then my copper nail polish. And I thought that was cute. So we are using the Voldemort robe that I recently got. Y'all, I love this robe. I do. It is so dynamic. Whatever it is you want to do, a little dramatic poses, that robe is amazing. They did a really good job with that one. And then here, y'all, I have my littles in their cute little costumes with their little trick-or-treat bags. So, y'all, the costumes for the littles were, it was a struggle because I still don't have a lot of littles clothes. My collection is still growing. And I didn't really think I had a lot of stuff this one that was going to be pull, able to pull off for costumes. So I had to get creative. So to start, we have a little Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. So y'all, I just took a little bit of fabric and some little sparkly. Um, let me see if I can get him up here. There we go. I just took some little fabric and a little sparkly um, tool and put on to give him a little white glove. I used just the little Dollar Tree top from the red outfit that we got like for the last series and then the new top that comes in black and then just some black pants and some black boots but i made him a little michael jackson i thought that was cute with the red coat and the little um glove you can't miss it 
This one, y'all, I did kind of a similar idea because, again, trying to find the costumes for the littles in my collection was a bit of a struggle. So, our little man here is Joey Lawrence. Y'all remember Joey from Blossom? He used to always do the little uh, plaid shirt, kind of 90s um, pop star grunge. And I had the little microphone that I found when I was digging through some of my older, um, very princessy clothes. And that happened to be in there. And then that was like, okay, yeah, we can do a little Joey Lawrence for him. that will be cute. The microphone will do it. My next one, y'all. Y'all remember I did the Dollar Tree budget haul and I got the little Friends Forever wigs. And y'all, it all just kind of came together. So Miss Ma'am right here is pulling off our Bride of Frankenstein. So I took that red, black, and white outfit that I got here recently. As y'all can see, that's what it looks like on the back. I painted it some silver on the top. I took one of those wigs. And y'all, yeah, I had to stuff. Oh, goodness, I had to stuff all of her hair in there. But it did work out. So this is my little Bride of Frankenstein. I also did a little customizing on her shoes. Um, and this is something I'm going to do a lot of here lately. Um, Lord have mercy. This is what I mean when I'm sick. This is something else I'm going to focus on moving forward is decorating some of my little shoes so I can get them some different looks instead of just the basics that they come with. Um, so also in this area, y'all, I did, um, my little bat cage and then I did some treats back there. So I also used my little candy apples. Y'all can see those. And then some cinnamon rolls and stuff that I used last year. And then I think that looks really good. So let's go over here. All right, y'all. So I also wanted to use this doll. So I've introduced her in the last few videos. I had given her a name, but I did not want to say what her name was until we got um, into the scene. So y'all, I have named this doll. Let me move her stuff right quick so I can bring her up here. I have affectionately named this doll Lily. You ought to know where that comes from. Yes, she is named after Lily Potter character from the Harry, the Harry Potter series. When I was doing the little Harry Potter potions and I pulled out all of my characters, I already had her in mind to play um, the mom, but I didn't wind up doing that scene. I didn't have enough for it. That's why I was saying, y'all, the scenes that I wanted to do were absolutely amazing, but I'm dollhouse broke. So I had to um, kind of taper down and figure out some other stuff, but she is named Lily. I think it is beautiful and affectionately named that. And she's just playing kind of a wood sorceress um, with Joey. I love the little look of the purple and green. And then I made her a little staff as well, using mostly the same hair color that I use for Joey's hair. But I think this turned out really cute. And this scene, again, is just like a little Halloween party for the littles. That's why everything is kind of um, more smaller scale. And then over here, y'all, I have just my little trick-or-treat buckets. As you can see, I'm using them here with the Littles. And then I used that Harry Potter Yule Ball invite. I don't know what that thing was, but it came with my little Harry Potter doll. I put it on top of a tea light and in there to be kind of like a, um, just a little light up cake to add a little bit more mystique. And then y'all, there is my cauldron that I got from the Dollar Tree. Love it, five bucks, it lights up. It throws the little fog and mist. And then right on the top, I did my big old candy bowl. And I put just a little bit of purple over that. Just because y'all know for fall, our season is purple. And I think y'all can see a theme running through this one. So, um, y'all, this one was fun. That's what I'm going to say on this. Oh, and in front, I have kind of like a little um, creepy graveyard looking area. And then one big old huge snake right here wrapped around, um, in my pumpkins. Uh, for this scene, let me get y'all back situated. Okay, there we go. So y'all, this one was super fun. I loved it. 
It did not cost me any more money to create this. I just pulled out of the collection from stuff I was finding as we were um, working on our storage. And then I just made a couple of things that I thought would kind of go with the characters. But I think what really set this one off was the costumes and the trees. Yeah, the trees are my absolute favorite with the lights. Let me get those lights back off. And I'm just going to turn my ring light off for a second. But yeah, I think the trees are my absolute favorite. They add so much ambiance to the scene and it just works really good. I love the fact that this scene became my little scene. I had another idea that I was going to do for the littles, but the costumes, once I got them done, um, it was just really good. And I forgot to do a whole costume. I just, I just realized that. And it's my favorite one. I'm not even sure how I forgot to talk about it. So let me go back up here. The last costume on my littles, y'all, is um, a Jedi. And I have a little piece of fabric over here, yes. So I did pretty much the same exact idea for this one and this one. So I already knew I was gonna do a Jedi uh, this year. Don't ask me why. I think it was Halloween last year. I did a couple of little like pictures, celebrity pictures using my dolls. And I started building um, the idea for what I would do for Halloween this year. And the Jedi costume kind of played into that. So for this one, y'all, this little one is absolutely adorable. She has on the black boots, the black pants, and that new black shirt that comes in the Friends Forever um, fashion packs. And then I use cabinet shelving lining to wrap around her to be the little Jedi costume and yarn to be the belt. We used a skewer and some duct tape, Dollar Tree duct tape, so it doesn't stick that well. But we used a skewer and some gray duct tape to make her her little gray lightsaber, and I think this is adorable. So y'all, this was one of the easiest costumes to make when I started thinking about it last year. So I actually pulled out a piece of the fabric so I can show y'all. So I just took a strip, I laid the doll down with the arms out so that they make a T, and then I cut it to the length that I wanted and then fold it over, cut it up the front, and then put it on the doll and wrap it around, y'all. You may have to trim it a little bit, but if you did good with your measurements, depending on what size doll, because I did wind up making three of these, as y'all will see as we get to the rest of the curated scenes. But y'all, that costume was super easy to make. And then I think the hardest part was figuring out how to have um, different size lightsabers for my certain dolls so that they would look appropriate. Okay, now let me look around because again, y'all know I'm sick. So I'm already normally um, squirreling all over the place. And then now that I'm sick, it's even worse. So is there anything else in this scene that I want to hit? No, this is actually good. Okay, so anyway, y'all. So that is the first curated scene for Halloween. I love it. I think it turned out really, really good. And then... Um, I love all of the costumes for the littles. So again, Joey is wearing a Voldemort um, costume, playing my wizard. And then we have little Michael Jackson, little Joey Lawrence. We have a little Jedi and a little Bride of Frankenstein. And then my Lily doll here that I just introduced y'all to um, her name is wearing the Wish doll dress. And then um, the Irish princess cape in that deep velvety green y'all i love that i started to pull out that whole outfit to be the costume but since we were focusing on purple for fall i went with that one and i think it looks a little bit more kind of witch peasanty but yeah okay so i'm going to turn my lights back on so that we can finish this video in all of the full ambiance and essence that y'all deserve for this curated theme Yes, I'm sorry, y'all. Again, like I said, I have gotten sick. I've got um, at least three more videos to do. So y'all are going to hear this little nasally sickness in the next couple of videos. I am so sorry, but we plan to recover very quickly. But yeah, there you go. So here is our little kid um, littles scene for Halloween. And I think it turned out great. So y'all leave comments um and likes and let me know what y'all think because i i really like this one i love the little lights 
And I also love how cheap it was because again, y'all, I spent $33 this month, shopped in my collection. So it was really fun to see what I could come up with, with a little bit of everything from the treats, the candy, the costumes, the decorations, the ideas, everything. The only thing I didn't introduce was the doll, but I've already introduced y'all to him. I just thought he looked good in the scene because he was, you know, kind of dark and kind of added to that um, color scheme. All right, that's it, y'all. I got to do another one, so y'all are going to hear this scatterbrainness again. But thank y'all for visiting the Curated Dollhouse and going on this initial tour of our first curated scene for Halloween. We will be back in a new video with a whole new concept. Bye, y'all.